Good morning, folks. We've got a storm to detail, three excellent papers in the science journals, including on the planets and earthquakes, strange seismic noise, and solar forcing. But of course, the big story from yesterday is the X4.5 solar flare and CME on its way to Earth. Yesterday afternoon, we covered the big flare event, which you see here and saw in the opening sequence. We also have the coronal hole streams, but they're likely to be swallowed by the CME that was released by that flare was a fairly long duration event and the flare itself was obviously quite powerful as you can see here on the GOES x-ray flux chart. Tremendous plasma ejection took place within the core of the CME and while the bulk of that is not headed at Earth, you can easily tell on the SOHO LASCO coronagraphs the burst was very wide, creating a partial halo. We showed the NASA Enlil spiral in the afternoon video yesterday. Earth impact expected tomorrow, and now the NOAA Enlil spiral is updated as well, also forecasting that impact tomorrow, midday UTC time. They predict level 3 KP7 geomagnetic storm conditions. We'll have eyes open for that impact. Folks, while Gordon putters around in the central Atlantic, a new system much closer to the coastline is developing quickly as it heads for landfall today. You can see it gaining individual rotation apart from the larger low pressure extension, and it will come ashore before we speak tomorrow morning. Eyes open in the region. First up in the science articles is this, a preprint that hopefully gets reviewed and accepted, another gem added to the list of previous studies suggesting that the planetary positions impact earthquake activity. This specific analysis only works for the outer planets, but it did indeed work well for them. Sadly, it is gravity-based where the real mechanism is probably electromagnetic or resonance. Weird seismic signal has been sleuthed to Greenland. A very remote landslide created a tsunami that was huge, hundreds of feet, and which sloshed back and forth for nine days inside a lake, causing a seismic signal that was one of the big geophysical mysteries of the last few years. No longer. Last but not least in the articles, excellent study piling onto the hundreds that came before it confirming the solar wind coupling with the lower atmosphere, including temperature, humidity, and the winds. Studies like these that aim at a single event are how we take the larger scale statistics and then see them in action. The sun controls this atmosphere. Folks, just six days until the Founders Weekend events begin at Observer Ranch. Grab your day passes at the link below or go to ObserverRanch.com to book a stay at the campground. We'd love to see you out there. Also, folks, later today we expect the September issue of the Observer Review e-magazine to come out best way to stay up to date, best way to support the observers. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.